Hi there, I'm Kathy Berry with Time to Be Well. And on today's show, we've got some kids in the kitchen, which is great. What is it about the kitchen that brings everyone in? I think it's that there's a lot of magic there. And kids love being a part of all that magic. So it's the perfect opportunity for you and your children to have some fun together and build some important life skills. You are the best teacher your children can have in the kitchen. And learning about food, what foods we should eat, how to choose foods for a balanced diet, planning meals, how to read a recipe, those result in skills that last a lifetime. And perhaps even more than that, cooking inspires creativity and builds confidence. It's a wonderful thing to prepare a delicious dish and offer that to those that you care about. And you want to know a secret? The more you cook, the better you get. So let's get back in the kitchen and help our kids learn how to cook. On today's show, we're going to be making some oatmeal muffins and some wagon wheel soup. So stay right there. Good morning. We are going to make some beautiful oatmeal muffins this morning. This is a great simple recipe. It has very wholesome ingredients and it's just a great simple way to get your breakfast started in the morning. We're going to start with some whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour is always nice to bake with because it adds some more nutrition, adds some more B vitamins, adds some more fiber. So we'll, we'll start with about a cup and a half of whole wheat flour. My friend Grace is going to help make these muffins for us this morning. And we always want to start with the dry ingredients first when you're making muffins. So the next ingredient, we've just got some basic quick oats. And those also go right in with the, um, the whole wheat flour. Oats are a great source of soluble fiber, which helps reduce your cholesterol. So in go the oats. Perfect. All right, and along with that, we've got about a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. So that goes in for leavening. There you go, Grace. And some cinnamon. Cinnamon is a wonderful spice. It's very good for people who have diabetes. It's been shown to help manage blood glucose levels. So there we go. In goes the cinnamon. And we have about a half a cup of brown sugar just to give it a little sweetening. So in goes the brown sugar. And now we're going to just give that a little mix. You want to mix all of your dry ingredients around for the muffins. And then you add your wet ingredients into a well in the middle. So do you just want to stir those around? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Give those a little stir. And then make like a little well in the middle. And that's where the, the um, wet ingredients will go. Good job, Grace. Awesome. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we've got some nice buttermilk and the buttermilk is people think of buttermilk as being high in fat but it actually isn't. It's really low in fat and it's a little cultured. It's kind of like on its way to yogurt. So very good for you, low fat and it gives these muffins a nice spongy consistency. So we're going to add that three quarters cup of buttermilk right in the middle. Nice job, Grace. And we've got some applesauce and we've got some oil. Now the reason that we like to use the applesauce is because you can pretty much cut the amount of oil or fat that you use in a recipe in half by using applesauce. You can use other pureed fruits as well, but applesauce goes really nicely with these golden raisins and some cinnamon. So here is about a quarter of a cup of applesauce. And we've got a little um, spatula if you need to use that, Gracie. And then, um, good, nice job. I think she's going to be a baker. And um, we've also got about a quarter of a cup of canola oil. Canola oil is one of the healthy fats. It helps reduce cholesterol as well. Canola oil and olive oil are both very good fats that you should always have in your kitchen. So. Now we've got um, one egg. We always like to use the omega-3 eggs. They're just another way to get some more omega-3 in your diet. Omega-3 is one of those powerful antioxidants that helps reduce your cholesterol. It's also really good for your brain and it actually is good for your joints. So omega-3 is great. So Gracie's going to crack this egg for us and 
pop that right in the middle of the, um, uh, the well. Nice job. You put the shell right back in here. There we go. And now we're going to just pop this down. My kids got me this for Mother's Day and I think it's great. So we'll turn that on. Looks pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. I think you're a very good muffin maker. Thank you. I don't know the muffin man, but I know the muffin grace. All right, and here go the raisins. You can just pop those in and we'll give those a stir and then we'll put them in the muffin cups. You could use other dried fruit as well. You can use blueberries, cranberries, but the raisins are kind of nice. The golden raisins are kind of nice with the cinnamon and the applesauce. So there we go. We'll give that a stir. Looking good. All right, let's fill these muffin tins up with this muffin batter and we'll pop them in the oven and I have a feeling it's going to be delicious. Here, we'll take this off like that. There we go. Here we go. Now you can just take some of that and pop it in each one of those um, tins and uh, you want to fill it at about, oh, you know, two thirds. Yeah, maybe a little. That, that's probably okay. And, and you might need to use the spatula and fill each muffin tin with about, oh, two thirds of the way up. And we will pop those in the oven and have some great muffins. And you know what? If you happen to make a little bit of a mess when you're cooking in the kitchen with your kids, it's okay. Sometimes it gets a little messy, but that's all right. That's how you learn. And that's, there's, there's nothing wrong with being a messy cook. So there we go. You're doing great. You're not a messy cook. I am a messy cook, but you're doing a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we've got these muffin tins almost ready to pop in the oven. Grace, do you have any questions? Um, how long do they bake? Um, they bake about, oh, 14, 15 minutes, and uh, they're usually done by then. How, how do you know when they're ready? They usually spring back when you touch them, or you can put a toothpick in, and if it comes out clean, then they're done. Okay, we're all ready, so let's take them to the oven. Thanks, Grace. I think Thank they're going to turn out wonderful. Thanks. So, Grace, these muffins look great. Thank you very much for baking with me today. Thank you. Would you like to try one? Sure. Yeah, me too. Would this be something maybe you might have for breakfast? Well, I like eating donuts sometimes. Well, that's okay sometimes, but these are really healthy. And uh, they give you a lot of fiber and a lot of protein and stick with you through the morning. So, I think you might like to give these a try. Yum. Really good. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. It was great for you to join us and stay right there. When we come back, we're going to make some super wheelie soup with my friend Billy.
we're back and I have my friend Billy with me and we are going to make some wagon wheel soup. So this is going to be fun. So Billy, we've got our, our, uh, our, our burner on. Would you like to put some oil in our pot? And we are going to get started yeah. with a great recipe. And you always want to use a little bit of olive oil to brown your onions with. That's perfect. We've got about um, one small locally grown onion that we're going to add to the pot. So if you want to start with that and we'll saute that. And uh, then we're going to add about a pound of um, ground beef that we have from our, our local CSA. And that's what's going to go in next. Uh, what's the CSA? Well, CSA, it's a good question, is Consumer Supported Agriculture. Our local com consumer supported agriculture that we use at the city is the Good Natured Family Farms. And every week, if you sign up for the CSA, they deliver you a beautiful box of locally grown fruits and vegetables and also some protein. And uh, the, our CSA, the um, Good Natured Family Farms, partners with about 150 local farmers. So we really support our local um, farmers and our local economy by using those products. So it's, it's really fun because you never really know what you're going to get in your box and it's like a big party when you open it up. How do, how do you get involved in it? Well, you can, another great question, you can, you can Google local CSA or you can just go online and look for um, uh, our Good Natured Family Farms. Hen House also does a wonderful job with um, a CSA and you actually go to the store and pick it up or you can just go to your local farmers market every week but all of that supports our local farmers, supports our local economy and you end up eating lots of fresh wonderful fruits and vegetables. So those are good questions. You're doing a nice job with those onions. Well, when they start to get a little translucent, then we can add the ground beef. And um, beef sometimes gets a bad name, but it actually is really, really high in iron and B vitamins. So it's not a bad idea to have some lean beef in your diet occasionally, a couple times a week. Think we're ready to add the ground beef? Mm -hmm. All right. Can you just take that spatula and put it right in there? There you go. And then just chop it up. This soup is, um, this is a really quick and easy vegetable soup that you can prepare, you know, for after school, easy weeknight dinner. It's also nice for lunch. And soup is one of those things that everybody loves and it's a really nice way to get some, some uh, healthy vegetables in your diet and um, have a nice hearty meal at the end of a long day. You're doing a great job there, my friend. Okay, Billy, that looks perfect. Now, if that was not really super lean ground beef, I would probably drain it, but it's really, really lean, so I think we can just go right ahead and um, add this broth. We've got, a, we've got some beef broth and we've got some water, so if you would just want to pour that in, that's just regular old stock, and that's what's going to give it um, a, nice, a nice rich flavor. We got a little on the floor, but don't worry about it. That is no big deal. And then we're going to bring that up to a boil, and after it gets at a boil, then we'll add our wagon wheels and then we'll let those cook and get almost al dente and then we'll add the rest of our vegetables. All right, our broth is boiling, so we are ready to put in our wagon wheels. So here we go. And rock me mama like a wagon wheel. You didn't know I was gonna sing to you too, did you? Mm -mm. <laughs> Alrighty, so those are gonna cook for about 12 minutes, kind of get al dente. And then after they are, that pasta is, you know, nice and, and al dente, then we'll add our tomatoes and the rest of our vegetables. And we could probably throw in this seasoning. Would you like to do that? Yeah. We've got some nice uh, basil and a little oregano. Kind of give it a little seasoning. Jazz it up. There we go. See, cooking soup is easy. You just put things in a pot and stir it. All right, we are ready now to add our tomatoes. Now, these are just um, uh, tomatoes that have some Italian seasoning. And uh, tomatoes are one of those vegetables that you can purchase canned, and so are beans. But other vegetables you want to try to have either fresh or frozen. How do you know if a uh, type of tomatoes are healthy? All the tomatoes are healthy. Actually, when they're cooked, they have more lycopene. And it's released more. And lycopene is one of those great antioxidants that's a big cancer fighter. 
And basically, that's what, well, you know when your mom and dad always tell you you have to eat your vegetables, you have mm -hmm. to eat your vegetables. Well, the reason that you want to eat your vegetables is because the darker colored vegetables are the ones that have all of the antioxidants. And antioxidants are the disease fighters. They actually neutralize damaging free radicals and disease fighting kind of things that are cruising around in your body. And and basically fruits and vegetables are the only place that you can get that. And when foods that come from plants. So that's why your moms and dads are always, you know, eat your beans, eat your carrots, eat your tomatoes. That's because that's where you're going to get all of your immune fighting, immune building substances. There's a method to their madness. <laughs> so here we go. We've got some green beans we're going to throw in here. And uh, once again, these came from our wonderful little locally grown farmer's market. And then we've also got some corn. So we can dump that in as well and give it a stir. Okay, we've added our vegetables. Billy's giving it a good stir, and we're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and get it nice and rich and flavorful. And when we come back, we'll serve up our wagon wheel soup. So stay right there. Americans consume too much sodium. Sodium raises blood pressure and puts you at risk for heart disease or stroke. What's too much? Most people consume more than 3,400 milligrams a day, but less than 2,300 is recommended, even less for others. A lot of sodium is hidden in processed foods, not the salt shaker. A regular sandwich can have over 1,500 milligrams of sodium. Guess what? Add a can of soup, and you're over the limit. Here's what you can do. Buy fresh, frozen, or no salt added canned vegetables and eat more fruit. Use fresh poultry, fish, and other lean meats. Use low or reduced sodium items and limit sauces and mixes. Choose wisely when eating out. Restaurant food can be high in sodium. Ask for low sodium options. Most importantly, learn to read nutrition facts labels. Less sodium, better health. Well, our soup is ready, Billy. That looks awesome. Would you like to serve it up? Yeah. That's great. That is a easy, hearty dish to make. Oh, look at that. Looks wonderful. Wagon wheel soup. Well, thank you so much for stopping by today and cooking with us. You're welcome. That was awesome. That looks great. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. All these recipes can be found at kcmo.gov and search for Time to Be Well. I'd like to thank my friends today for joining us. We have Billy and Chloe and Grace. I think they did a great job and I want to thank them for joining us on Time to Be Well. Thanks you guys.